गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी एंड मीन इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सपोज वी हैव दिस फॉलोइंग डेटा सेट सो इन दिस कॉलम वी हैव 10 स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस कॉलम इज स्टेटिंग देयर percentage which they have obtained in the last exam suppose this student obtained 90% this student obtained 85% like that now we can summarize this whole data set so in statistics the descriptive summary of a data set is called central tendency the central tendency actually states the center of data distribution by providing a single value actually it does not provide information regarding individual data from the data set instead it gives a summary of the whole data set therefore the central tendency is defined as the statistical measure that represents the single value of the entire data set so from this entire data set we can provide a single value which represents the whole data set that is called central tendency now let's talk about the measures of central tendency so the central tendency of a data set can be represented using three measures mean median and mode so let's talk about mean today mean is defined as the average of the entire data set let's see an example here so what is the mean of 3 4 6 8 14 14 so first add all the numbers so 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 14 is equal to 35 now divide it by 5 because total number of observations is 5 so 35 by 5 you will get 7 so 7 is the mean here now the symbol of mean is denoted by x bar so x bar is equal to sum of values divided by number of values suppose we have n number of values then we will add all of them like x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 etc plus xn divided by n therefore it can be stated that x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n now we can predict mean for both ungrouped as well as grouped data let's see an example for calculating mean for ungrouped data first so in a class there are 10 students and they have secured a percentage of 96 85 88 82 86 88 80 96 78 and 81 find the mean percentage obtained by the class so let's see the solution here first add all the numbers so when we are adding all the numbers we will get 860 now divide it by 10 because 10 is the total number of observations so 860 by 10 is equal to 86 so 86 is the answer it is the mean now let's calculate mean for grouped data a sample of college students was asked how many pages they used to write their class notes so in this column we have number of students of each group that is represented by x and in this group we have values which represent how many pages each group used that is called 
frequency and is represented by f. Suppose among five students, each of them used 10 pages. Among four students, each of them used 8 pages. Like that. So here we have the chart. So let's see the solution first. For the given data, we can find the mean using this following method. So first we will calculate fx like 5 into 10 that is 50, 4 into 8 that is 32 like that. Then we will just add these values like when we add all the values in this column we will get summation of f that is 50 and when we add all the values in this column we will get summation of fx that is 354. Now mean is equal to summation of fx by summation of f that means 354 by 50 and the answer is 7.08.